name is Luis Santos and I'm, I'm responsible for the development of uh, new services based on SHM and other uh, new technologies. Uh, my area normally uh, works with different groups at uh, Embraer to evaluate if the technology uh, level for those uh, technologies are, are prepared good enough or mature enough to be used or exploited as a new services or, or, or support processes or tools. So basically what we are going to, uh, I'm going to present here is an actual services as software is already available to our customers from the EJET. Uh, it's called ESRM and we believe that this is our part of the action on the SHM uh, as OEM. We believe that we need to create the environment for you, uh, this community, to start using the technology, in this case SHM, to bring real solutions to our customers. So, bear with me for a few minutes. I'm sure uh, I'm going to show something that is not, it seems, directly related with SHM, but it will, I believe we'll see uh, the connections uh, at the end. So, again, what is the uh, ESRM? Is our approach in a way to make it faster, uh, the solution of problems that uh, occurs for the airlines or airlines, uh, no matter what uh, model of aircraft they use, uh, day by day, which means damage on the tarmac, uh, damage during the day by day operation. When that happens, you need to evaluate the damage and propose a repair or decide if you are uh, uh, good, uh, good to go, sorry, or, or uh, wait until the, the repair. So the ESRM is our solution to make this process of the, uh, uh, evaluating the damage faster. So currently, this software, as I mentioned before, is already available to our customers. They provide a graphical uh, interface, a 3D model, very easy to be accessed and manipulated through the internet, very light. Uh, it provides uh, uh, analyzed data to evaluate damage um, uh, on the aircraft, and this data is this uh, analysis is based on currently approved uh, technical data. So everything that this software uh, presents to our customers is already uh, approved and signed by the authorities in our menus. But it does in, a, uh, uh, in seconds instead of waiting someone to go there to the menu and find uh, this, this solution. It's, it creates a database of uh, information, of revisions, of uh, inspections, and is, uh, it can be used to trace all of these damage and the results. Well, uh, this is uh, some of the, the images of the, the, the software, and uh, as I mentioned before, it provides this graphical interface that you've seen a minute in a short video. And uh, my point here uh, is to show is that uh, you see that uh, after you, you select the position of the aircraft, there's a damage, you can localize it and then you enter manually information about the damage, the size and all the characteristics of that damage. My first point in terms of connecting the dots is the form. Currently to do this, our customer must input the data manually. So, if you take a look on this process here, in the past, without this software, someone out there operating at our aircraft was forced after the damage to through or search through several manuals, several pages to find the disposition, the technical disposition for that particular damage. That took nine, ten steps. It can take one hour or two hours or more, depending on your knowledge about the, the repair. And uh, you may very easily commit a mistake. If you just point to the wrong page and jump to a different table or, or uh, don't follow properly the instructions, you can commit, uh, uh, make an error and make a wrong decision in terms of making that uh, craft available to flight or not. What we're presenting right now already to our customers is this service that you only need to put the uh, dimension, dimensional information about the damage. After that, the software calculates everything. And let me just show you how it works in this short video. I'm just presenting here the particular uh, functionality of uh, creating a new event. So we just select uh, a new event on the main interface and uh, it'll, in a few seconds you see the, the aircraft is already there. This was uh, uh, recorded through the internet, so it's very light 3D model. So you, you get the section that was damaged, then you manually select uh, the damage type, damage cause, uh, 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 and you put 
uh, different information about the damage. And after a few uh, steps, uh, the software is, is, is using that data, you can insert pictures or whatever uh, you think is necessary to record what happens on your aircraft. And then the software will analyze all of this information. And then in a few steps, it's just asking uh, one question to, to clarify one point. And you see that after these uh, few steps, uh, we are going to be able, now we just, uh, again, we are classifying in general terms the region that was impacted. Now we are including, adding uh, the damage. So we're going to add, uh, on this particular case, there was uh, three hits on that part of the fuselage. So it's pretty simple to go there. The software automatically uh, defines what is the, the frame or the stringer that is affected or the part of the skin and we start there. We can manipulate transparency of the skin and all of other uh, 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 features on the, on the 3D model. But uh, please, uh, now is the point where you manually are including the dimensions of the damage. And here, if you allow me to, to stop for just a second, is the point where we believe will be a real connection with SHM. So again, our part of the action as OEM was to create the conditions that sooner, we believe, will be able to install uh, sensors on the aircraft and this sensor will be able to input automatically the data here. So instead of asking for someone to go there and type it, the system will inform all these uh, uh, dimensions. And uh, if you continue, this will allow, without approving anything else, besides the sensor itself and the capability to detect and, and provide the dimensions of that damage, we'll be able to provide to our customers the solution, the disposition to decide if a repair is necessary, if uh, that damage is good to go, or if you can fly for a couple of days before creating the, uh, the repair. So, just to conclude this video, you see that after that, the software automatically calculated that this particular damage was allowable damage. This type of very fast information uh, can uh, save several hours of downtime for our customers. They could make a lot of money in three, two, two, three, four hours that they spend uh, on the ground trying to figure out what to do with that repair. By doing that in a few seconds, they can save, uh, they can avoid delays and cancellations. So we believe that uh, we did our part creating this environment. They inserting data manually, but you as a community uh, can do a lot more to provide us ways to select sensors, to certify sensors, to do this damage characterization automatically, so it can have a more robust solution. So just to conclude, uh, again, here we minimize, reduce the workload for our customers only to uh, look at uh, locate and uh, characterize the damage. With SHM solution that we are also uh, studying from different uh, suppliers, we believe that even that step will be eliminated and pretty soon we'll have a like, totally uh, automated system that will monitor the damage and what can be done if something happened. Uh, so, just to conclude, you know, currently the system doesn't require, uh, don't require any change on the aircraft, but we are hoping as a company, we are hoping as a company that soon we'll be able to certify and validate a, a system, a SHM system, so once our customer install a service quality on the aircraft with sensors and everything, they can connect this, this system and be covered for all the damage during the day-by-day -day operation. I think that's it. Uh, again, uh, thanks for your attention.